I'm Garrett Oliver, and this is a story of my life as told by me. <laughs> I come from, in a way, a very Victorian family. I didn't think about it that way when I was growing up. We're definitely a lot weirder than everybody around us. African-American family way out in Queens, near the Nassau border, and we hunted pheasant on horseback with dogs. That's what we did from the time I was like 10 years old. I was out there in fields with men with guns. We would go out and we would shoot pheasant and chucker partridge and quail. The first thing that I remember is my dad and I were out in a field. He took this big tin can and it wasn't like, you know, a modern tin can. It was old school tin cans that were really, really hard. He put it on the ground, it was about this big. He gave me a loaded gun, he said, shoot the can. I start to back up, it's like, no, 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 no. I didn't say back up, shoot the can. And the can's right there on the ground. So I take this 20 gauge shotgun, and I'm just like, Phew! and he's like, all right, now find me some tomatoes. There was an inside out can, and there was a red mist hanging in the air, and I couldn't find any tomatoes. My dad said, that can is your head and those tomatoes are your brain. Do you understand? Yes, I understand perfectly. My dad was a graphic designer. He was an art director. He directed television commercials. He did print campaigns, all sorts of things. So he had a very graphic direct style. Even though I grew up in Queens, my dad's pole star was always Manhattan. And if I look at uh, Mad Men now, like I recognize everything. You know, by the late 60s, early 70s, I was in those hallways. I didn't think I was going to do what my dad did, but then I kind of, sort of did, just in a different direction. That really kind of uh, translates through the way I think about beer now, because, you know, beer in of itself, for me, modern beer, you know, is a form of storytelling. The fact that I was poor for years actually, frankly, is good. And it sounds ridiculous, you know, when you look at actual poverty, but I, I remember one day running out of food and I had no money and I was getting hungry. And I was like, what the hell is this?